What up, Geekdom? This is Shamunk. We are doing a review, a movie review. Um, this one isn't going to be that long <laughs> of a review. We're reviewing Tarot, or uh, Tarot, I should say, the movie that came out. It was, well, let me just describe the movie. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a couple of friends that uh, get together. They're partying and everything at a house that they're renting out. And they're looking for drinks, and they go, they find this, um, these tarot cards they play the tarot cards whatever and they all get cursed or whatever was drawn for them on the final draw and yeah whatever was the final draw is what's going to come after them and it's kind of like in the the final destination style where the order of that's what it seemed like the order of people who played is the order that is going to happen to them as far as which thing is going to come after them so, I know y'all seen the Rotten Tomato score and everything, and it did so, so horribly, the Rotten Tomato score. But it wasn't a great movie, but it wasn't like the worst thing I've ever seen. I would say it is good for a one-time watch. It's not unwatchable. I don't feel like this is unwatchable. It's just the the story isn't as set up the best way, and they use a lot of the the same cliches as a whole bunch of other horror movies. I've seen a lot of movies that did the same type of concept, just better. And they were independent films. They weren't even, had like a large budget or whatever. They were smaller in one location mostly, but I felt like they've, they've done the concept better. But it wasn't, it wasn't horrible, horrible. I didn't think the, I think the direction when it came to the actors were not that great. The story wasn't, set the right way i feel like the editing probably wasn't there because i feel like they cut out some things they probably should have left in because it felt like that there was some stuff there that they probably had that they just didn't keep in the film that's how i kind of felt when i was watching it and again this is just my opinion of just how i feel <laughs> about it but the the story is just what it was like and it was a good concept though i would say it's another movie where it's a good concept just bad execution um and that's just how it's been with a lot of films and stuff when it comes to horror. I feel like they had like a lot of good ideas for certain things. It's just when it comes to actually doing it and the production of it, it just fell short. So yeah, but it, it's, it's not unwatchable. I would just say that it's not unwatchable, but it's not something that you... I, I don't think people would necessarily buy, purchase purposely. It's definitely something that's like a streaming movie something you will stream and watch but nothing you will pay for on its own but i went ahead and pay for it and watched it in the movie so i guess uh, yeah where there are some people who wouldn't pay for it but that's just kind of how i felt with it but let me know what y'all think about this if y'all watched it if y'all kind of felt the same way if y'all are still looking to try to go and watch it i still say you can i'm not gonna say yay or nay to it you're not missing much if you don't watch it but if you do watch it it's not gonna be like totally just unwatchable to where you can't sit down and just watch the entire film but yeah if y'all like this video please feel like a video if you like subscribe to see some more of my videos please do thank you all so much for jumping on and giving me a try i really do appreciate it please do take care of yourselves and each other peace geek them